everybody, my name is Allison. Welcome to my channel. This is probably going to be the first video that you see of me. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to start my YouTube journey. I love watching like lifestyle, beauty, mom vlogs, and so that's what I'm into. That's what I love making and watching. So that's what this channel is going to be all about. I am going to be filming a what's in my hospital bag and yeah, so let's get into it. So I'm going to be bringing a like duffel bag like this and the first thing I'm going to have is in this front pocket right here, I'm going to be having some hand sanitizer, chapsticks, Tylenol, um, hair ties, stuff like that. Oh, before I forget, I am actually 36 weeks today, so I'm going to show you guys a little bump update that is baby girl showing, making an appearance. <laughs> All right, and then I have this big zipper right here that is going to be with like phone chargers, stuff like that. I have a postpartum bag that I'm going to be bringing. It's just going to be having some like nipple balm, nipple butter, whatever it's called in it. Um, these like ice cold pack things for down there. Some lidocaine, lidocaine spray, stuff like that. And then also like one of these things, I forgot what it's called, but the postpartum thing. So there's that I'm going to be bringing. I am going to be bringing two pairs of PJs and I'm gonna be bringing the ones where they have like the button down. So it's easier for me to breastfeed, for me to get in and out of it, for the nurses to get to me and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be bringing a gray pair and a black pair. And then I'm going to be bringing a going home outfit. I will just have these like black joggers, a nursing bra, one t-shirt, and one tank top. So that is the clothes for me. And then the clothes for baby girl, I'm going to be bringing a swaddle for either pictures or to actually swaddle her. Um, this onesie, this onesie, <laughs> this onesie, and it comes with a little skirt to go over it with ruffles on it. It's too cute. And then this will probably be her, um, her like first pictures that I'm gonna take. I don't know what I did with the beanie, but this comes with a little beanie and then it has sunflowers on it and it's like the one that you tie and I've heard that these are perfect to bring to the hospital because when like the nurses come in to change the diapers and stuff, they can access her a little bit better. I am going to be bringing two washcloths for her, a washcloth for me. I am going to be bringing a towel. Um, I'm going to be bringing a cardigan and also, also a blanket for me. And then obviously this is not a necessity and I've heard kind of 50-50 on it, whether I should bring it or not. I'm going to because even if I don't use it for baby girl for breastfeeding and stuff, I'm going to use it for me. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be bringing her boppy and yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to be wanting to use it. So I think I'm going to be grateful that it's there and I can always leave it in the car until I want it so I don't have to chug it back and forth. And then just little things for her, I'm going to be bringing some binkies. I'm going to bring like a Dr. Brown's bottle. Um, I am going to be bringing like some mittens, some socks, some bows for pictures, different options, stuff like that. 
I'm going to be bringing like a little baby blanket for pictures and stuff like that to lay her down. And then I'm going to be bringing this backpack as well. And I'm just going to be having like um, my Yeti cup, my laptop, laptop charger, her um, name announcement sign um, with like all the letters in it and yeah stuff like that and then i did pack a bag for aubrey as well i brought i'm gonna be bringing like a little hospital um backpack for him that he has and i just kind of went ahead and did like his toothbrush toothpaste toiletry stuff like that and then you know a couple shirts bottoms boxers socks stuff like that for him and then for me i do have a toiletry bag as well and I'm just going to be bringing um, shampoo and some conditioner. This is Redken. If you guys have never tried this one, um, Redken Extreme Length. Girl, this is too good. I switch on and off between like this, Amika, and like Olaplex usually. Oh, it's just too good. And Aubrey like loves this shampoo and conditioner. It's crazy. And then like a travel size body wash and deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush, um, like Q-tips, my It's a 10 spray, who knows if I will even shower there. And then I did not pack it yet because I'm still thinking about it. I may or may not pack just a small, not a lot obviously, but just a small little makeup bag. I know a lot of people are like, girl, you are not gonna be wanting to do your makeup, but I might get induced, I'm not sure. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be in labor for, and I might take it like a champ, I have no idea. So I might wanna have my makeup there if I'm feeling okay and I'm feeling up to doing it. Um, if not, then it's just an extra little bag. It's not really gonna be in the way. So it's not a big deal if I bring it and don't use it. But I am gonna be bringing some like makeup wipes as well. Um, even if I don't have makeup on, I wanna be able to, you know, wipe away all the sweat. Cause I don't feel like bringing like a whole thing of like, you know, face wash and all that. I'm, uh, I'll be okay without washing my face for a couple days, but I will bring some makeup wipes to do the job. Um, and yeah, I actually think that is everything that I'm going to be bringing. So just some clothes for me, baby girl, baby daddy. <laughs> um, yeah, pillow, blanket, and just the necessity, chargers, everything I think I would need. And our hospital isn't too, too far from where I live. It's probably about a 30, 40 minute drive, depending on the traffic and the time of the day. Um, so if, you know, my mom has a key to our house and his mom has a key to our house. So if we do forget anything and we're there way longer than we expect to be there and we need more clothes or whatever the case is, then they can, you know, come and pick up a little bit more for us and, you know, we can just tell them where everything's at. So yeah. I'm very excited. Um, this is my third time filming this video because I just, I just couldn't get it right. <laughs> and I was really out of breath and nervous. Um, but however this is, we're just gonna upload it and call it a day because I can't keep filming these damn hospital bag videos. Um, I think it's funny, I have everything laid out and then I pack it back up all organized and then I take it out again to film it. We're not doing that no more. And especially because I'm 36 weeks today, I just got a new car a couple days ago, so I'm really excited to put her car seat in there and pack the hospital bags and just have everything ready to go because you just never know when it's gonna happen. And yeah, so I'm very excited. And if you guys love watching videos like this or if you loved this video, please comment down below and let me know how I did with packing my hospital bag. Let me know if it was too much, if I needed something, you know, if I'm forgetting something, let me know. If you guys can give a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel so you can see more mom, beauty, lifestyle vlogs like this one. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.